Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. As you learned so far, you know how to edit the mesh and create a watertight which is suitable for printing, for example. I will edit this mesh now, and as you can see, it has only one mesh, which makes sense, it's a single surface, and only one hole, which is the, the bottom of this mesh. But now if I run this on automatic surfacing, or I want to send it for printing, even in this case I have a lot of eroded edges here, I can spend a lot of time to edit them, but in this case I choose a bit of a different approach. What I created here for the demonstration is a single sketch, and from this sketch I extruded one surface, which is, uh, I make sure that it goes through the, this mesh. I'll put it in standard view so you can understand better the shape of this uh, surface. So now I can go back and edit the mesh. What we have in quick surface is what is called mesh splitting. I can choose this command and the software automatically will pre-select my other feature if it's only one. If there is nothing I can just, uh, just show these and if there are multiple I can just pick the one which I'm interested in. So I have uh, three options here which in this case it's only to split this mesh with my surface body, which is in this case the extruded surface. I pre-selected my extruded surface, I see that this is being selected, and then I can press preview. What the software will do, will use this um, primitive, which can be any primitive created in quick surface like extrusion, revolved surfaces, even the freeform surfaces, and it will go through and split the mesh. As you can see, it automatically colorized the two sub-meshes or individual meshes that have been created. If I'm happy with the result, I will press OK. Now I don't need extruded surface anymore, but if I can take a look, now I have two individual meshes. We'll go to Edit, we'll select my main top mesh, and then I will just leave this, because this is what I need. If I'm happy, I can go back. As you can see now, I have one mesh which has a much better, nicer boundary and has only one hole. Sometimes, due to computational reasons, you may find that there are some discrepancies here on the corners which you can edit using the edit holes. We'll hold control just to enable the um, semi-hole filling and I can just repair my boundary in such a way that this is suitable, it has continuum um, boundary. Let's try to fix this one, holding control, I click this second point and it's automatically closed. You can see now that I have a nice and sharp boundary and this is uh, much more suitable for automatic surfacing. Let's try what we can do now. I'll just go to auto surface, we'll leave the default options on and press preview. Because this surface is very well created now, there are no holes on the mesh and we have a good boundaries, I think that the automatic surfacing will do a great job, despite the noise we can see on the screen. And voila, this is our surface, I can press OK, and you can see how nicely created boundary it has. This is much more suitable later, you can edit the mesh and you can just expand the, the boundaries here if you want to trim it with another object. I'll just close this for now. So this was the tutorial how you can split with the mesh, but I want to show you a bit more advanced uh, options of what you can do. This is an example that has been scanned and if I edit the mesh I can see that it doesn't have any holes and it um, has only one single mesh, which means that directly you can send this to the printer, 3D printer, and you can create this. The problem you see, I'll put it on top view, is that due to the problems of the scanner, we cannot get actually a nice and good uh, defined holes. For this reason, we can define our cylinders in an analytical way, which is uh, completely editable, you can go and edit this cylinder and provide exact radius, or here we have defined another cylinder 
that we can use. So what can we do in this case? It's the following workflow. I will just demonstrate on these, but you can apply it always. I will hide this cylinder for now. I will choose the selection with the circle and we'll select this area and we'll delete. This is kind of a defeaturing now what I'm doing. I just try to get rid of this hole and then I will go and edit the hole. We'll select this hole and fill it. As you can see, it's automatically created approximations of the surface. You can get even nicer results. In this case, I see some issues here. So to be on a safe side, I will just extend this hole several times to get a good representation and we'll fill this hole. So what I did here, I defeatured my object in the best way I can. And still, this is completely printable. So what we have now is this cylinder here, which goes through the whole object. And now we will go to our split mesh command. In this case, as you can see, it's not being selected because there are some other features on the scene. And I will go and select that I want to cut from this mesh. I will click on my cylinder to make sure that it's selected. We'll press preview. What the software will do, we will create a Boolean operation and we'll subtract from our mesh this cylinder. So what is the result now? It's again completely compatible mesh for printing, but the biggest difference is that I created my hole in the perfect way. In the same way here, we can just um, delete the same. Let's repeat quickly this. I will just select this area and make sure that every select through is enabled so I can delete the whole um, underlying mesh also. We'll edit the whole, double click to fill the hole. I can see there is a small hole here. We'll extend and fill it properly to get a good result. We will turn around to get this uh, match. Also, we will expand to get the better approximation. And you can see that I have created my solid here. This is area that I don't really like. I can probably just uh, delete and select all. We'll make sure that the selection through is off. Just delete, go back and edit and fill this hole. This is, uh, for me, it's a floating mesh using expand hole we will actually get rid of it. So you see I just did a, what we called the featuring. We'll go back and show my other cylinder. Again we'll go to split out and just for the purposes of demonstration I can just uh, uh, cut this through but for you I'll just show the combined options. I can press uh, preview with uh, this cylinder and I say combine this. So what the software will do, we'll just combine the existing mesh with, um, with this cylinder. Again, this is um, another object that is completely printable. You can always just undo this operation. And of course, in this case, I'll show this. I need to cut through this and press preview. Why this is so important and useful? Because in many cases, you don't need to do the full reverse engineering. You just only need to create your primitives that you are mounting holes with the exact locations. But you don't really care about the shape, how accurate it is, as long as it, it's uh, strong enough for the purposes of uh, manufacturing. You can take this, you can print it and replace your broken part, for example. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.